Tide investigation. Dream home turned nightmare. A Tampa couple thought they were living the American dream. They bought a new house, were starting a family, and that's when they found out a bank claimed to own their home, even listing it for sale. Here's the rub, though. The couple never missed a payment. Desperation set in as eviction notices were taped to their garage door for the whole neighborhood to see. And it turns out there was just a title mix-up when they bought the home back in 2013. The couple turned to 8 on your side investigator Shannon Bankin to help save their home. Are you giving kisses? This is home for Chris and Rebecca Kraft. But nearly three years after they bought this South Tampa house, a bank they've never even done business with claims to own it and wants them out. Neither of us slept all night long. Just, you know, what, what in the heck is happening? This is our home we've been paying for. They were stunned. Their house listed for sale on the Internet with an unusual stipulation. Quote, property is occupied and occupants are not to be disturbed or contacted under any circumstances. What? These are not occupants. They're homeowners. A bank called Nation Star was selling their home. We do not have a loan with them. They won't even talk to us. At a loss, Chris did some research and drew out a timeline on his office whiteboard. The question really becomes is from a legal proceeding for all of this is who actually has the right to the house. So how did this mess happen? It's a tale of two titles for one house. Two banks screwed up a foreclosure on a previous homeowner, creating a title glitch where both banks had ownership. With a clouded title, the home should have never sold to the crafts in the first place. Years later, one of the banks, now Nation Star, wants their house back. And that's where the crafts hit a roadblock. So they called eight on your side, and I went to work. Caitlin, this is Shannon Bacon. Hi. I've been on hold now for 33 minutes. Yeah, who's going to want to buy a house that someone else already paid for? No more. Our next stop was the crafts title company, but nobody at Old Republic wanted to come out and talk to me. Sure, just pass the card under the door, please. Okay, okay. that's a first. Meanwhile, back at the crafts, they're left fearing a knock at the door, terrified they'll lose their home. It makes me sick. It makes me physically ill. I, I can't tell you, every time I walk by just photos on the wall, it breaks my heart. A spokeswoman for Nation Star called me back and promises to get to the bottom of this. She tells me our research is accurate and that the crafts did nothing wrong. For now, Nation Star is taking that house off the market. So if they did nothing wrong and they have title insurance, will that policy kick in and take care of this? It should kick in. It will give them money, it'll pay everything off, but they'll still lose the house, and that's not good enough. They didn't do anything wrong here. Everyone involved needs to step up to the plate and take care of this, and we are going to keep on agenda to make sure they do. This just gives every homeowner pause, I think, to imagine that something like this could happen. It's outrageous. All right, Shannon Bankin, thank you for that report.